This is Middletown, my hometown. It's also where I work, at the Crayon Factory. Completely solar powered and pollution free, the Crayon Factory's a wonderful place to be. And that's me. My name's Saturday. I'm a new robot, and I know I have a lot to learn from my friends who work here. But oh, do I love making colors in crayons. This is research and development, my favorite department. It's where they think up all the beautiful colors we make. Mr. Monday is in charge. He's what you call a color expert. After he picks the pigments he needs, that's the color stuff, he mixes them. And sometimes he lets me help. I call this one Periwinkle Blue. Oh! But when I make a mistake, all Mr. Monday ever says is, Try again, Saturday. Try again. But not today. After research and development, the next step is making the color crayon Mr. Monday created. Oh, I do like this step the best. Mr. Tuesday is in charge here. He mixes the color pigments with the wax, according to the exact formula Mr. Monday gives him. Time to rustle me up some colors. Yeah! <laughs> Sometimes, I help. <laughs> Next, the wax is poured into crayon-shaped molds. Mr. Wednesday handles the controls to make sure the wax is poured very carefully. And Mrs. Wednesday makes sure the molds are filled just right. But it doesn't always work out perfectly. Oh, dear. Still, all Mrs. Wednesday says is... Live and learn, Saturday. Live and learn. see my very most favorite step, unmolding the crayons and wrapping them. After the crayons are cooled, they're brought here. Ms. Thursday is in charge. She pushes buttons, and each crayon gets exactly the right label. Oh, 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 me, me! What do you know? I did it! You see how exciting making crayons can be?
their label the crayons are sorted and put into boxes mr friday himself checks every box to make sure each one has all the right colors once in a while guess who he lets help saturday hey, come quickly hey, there's trouble what is it mr friday hey so many of these are wrong what's gotten into them upstairs but mr friday always knows what to do he sends the boxes to the correction department to be fixed. And now you see why I like this area the best of all. Isn't making crayons fun? When the boxes are finished and just right, all children everywhere get new crayons to use. When this factory is in full swing, I tell you, it's music to my ears. was always the happiest place in the world. That is, until Mr. Penn arrived. Why the company that owned the factory sent him to take over, I do not know. He didn't seem to like the place, let alone want to work here. For one thing, Mr. Penn didn't think we needed more colors. He said, we already have too many colors, and they're too bright. And Mr. Penn thought the mixing department was too loud. And he thought the molds made the crayons too big. He said if the crayons were smaller, he'd make a lot more money. And Mr. Penn didn't think we should have to wrap the crayons. He said... Red is red, and blue is blue. That's all these kids have to know. And Mr. Penn didn't see any reason to check the boxes. He said... Kids won't notice if they have two yellow crayons and no red. Take a note. Mr. Friday is too rusty. I only want shiny robots in my factory. Rusty? Me, Rusty? Why, I'm perfectly fine. <laughs> then... One sad day, Mr. Penn had a meeting of all the robots. He said the crayon factory had to cut down on the number of colors it made. We were shocked. Mr. Monday said, You'll ruin the factory. Children need all the crayons for coloring. But Mr. Penn wouldn't listen and said, That was that and never the twain shall meet and so forth and so on. Never. Mr. Monday said he and the other robots would not give up, no matter what Mr. Penn said. But later that day, Mr. Friday was replaced by a new robot. In all my memory, and being a robot, I have quite a lot of it. Never had the Crayon Factory been such a sad place. The very next morning, one of the robots from the accounts office showed Mr. Monday an order we had received. It said, send us new crayons, red, blue, and brown, 500 cases for the kids of Newtown. The robot told Mr. Monday that Mr. Penn was sending the order back because we couldn't possibly produce so many cases in time. But the children in Newtown will be so disappointed. I was so worried, but Mr. Monday just said, that's not why he's sending the order back. He just wants to ruin us. That evening, as I was wandering around the factory, I overheard Mr. Penn say that they were going to work all night on a report. We'll show the company how many problems we have. There'll be cutbacks. Mark my words. But neither Mr. Penn nor I had any idea as to what Mr. Monday himself was planning. Mr. Monday 
was determined that we'd make all those crayons for Newtown and prove how good our crayon factory was. So we worked harder and longer than ever before. We even brought Mr. Friday back to help. We worked all night. The next day was Saturday, the day named for me. The factory was supposed to be closed, but instead, we robots were loading up the trucks. Pretty soon, 500 cases of crayons were on their way to Newtown, and Mr. Monday took me along for the ride. Newtown looked like a great place, but I wouldn't exactly say it was colorful. Mr. Merry, the toy shop owner, was sure happy to see us. And he was even happier when he opened his first box. Mr. Monday had outdone himself with all these beautiful colors. The children could paint the town. Wow, there were hues and tones of all kinds. The children had every color they could want. And if some didn't use every color, everyone used some. Before long, Newtown was the most colorful town I'd ever seen. The very next week, the head of the company arrived at the crayon factory. <coughs> yes. Uh, Miss Pandora. She called a meeting of the entire factory. Everyone was concerned. Mr. Penn began a big presentation and told Miss Pandora that, in his opinion, the crayon factory made too many colors and too many crayons. He said, I recommend that the crayon factory be shut down. We were astonished. For once, none of us moved. Finally, Miss Pandora said, you know, I came today to congratulate you on all of those cases of crayons sold in Newtown. Mr. Penn was shocked. Newtown! He exclaimed. He had no idea that we delivered that order. His recommendation to shut down the very successful crayon factory seemed positively foolish. And so Ms. Pandora finished by saying, we pens may know a lot about business, but apparently we know nothing about crayons. You're fired. And she told us, Mr. Penn is not running the factory anymore. All of you are. We could hardly believe what she said. Yippee! Imagine putting the robots who made the crayons in charge of the factory. What an unusual idea. Once we robots were in charge, we made more crayons more colorfully than ever before. And as always, we worked Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Oh, and yes, I, Saturday, got my own job. Crayon checker. Poor me. I get to color all week long. <laughs> What a busy, happy place the Crayon Factory is, once again. Welcome to the main hall of the Crayon Factory. We really like visitors here because there's so much to do. Just move your crayon cursor around, and when it flashes, you found something fun. So click on your mouse to do it. Just use your mouse to move your crayon cursor to the mirror on the wall. Then click on it. But if you want to work at the crayon factory, just move your crayon down the hall to the factory doors and click to go inside. Fill out your time card and clock in. When you're on the factory floor, try not to interrupt any of our workers. After all, Mr. Monday's pretty thoughtful. 
and Mr. Tuesday's tremendously busy, and Mrs. Wednesday works so hard, while Ms. Thursday is always spinning, and Mr. Friday is so careful. But to find out what you can do, just move your crayon around until it flashes. When it does, you found some work you can help with. Only here, work is more like, well, fun. You can match colors, or repair gears, or separate out the wrong colors, or, well, that's a secret. You can work in quality control, or fix pipes. There's so much you can do. Oh, I guess I'm getting pretty excited for a robot. And anytime you see one of these handbooks down on the control bar, you can get important information to help you do a better job. But here's the best thing of all. You can mix colors and make your very own crayons. Then you can head to the coloring station and find our story again. But this time, you'll need to color it. You can print out pictures from the story to color on paper, or click on the box of crayons and use the crayons we've already made, or the ones you've made yourself, to color the animation right on your computer screen. Click on the color you want to select, then click on the area you want to color. You can recolor all of the story or part of it. And after you color the story, press play to watch it with the colors you've picked. While you're here, we'll keep track of how much time you've spent and what you've done. Do a lot and you'll be declared factory expert and your very own certificate comes ready to print out. Or do a little. The choice is yours. The sky's the limit and the tour is over. Next tour, anytime. In order to work at the Crayon Factory, you need to sign in first and get a time card. To type in your name, just use your keyboard or spell it out by using the letters on the screen. To spell it out on the screen, click on the first letter of your name. Then place your crayon on the second letter of your name and click again. If you make a mistake, press Delete on your keyboard or click on the Undo button on the screen. And when you finish typing your whole name, press Return on your keyboard or click the Done key on the screen. If you want to learn more about time cards, press on the handbook below. And if you want to return to the main hall at any time, press on the picture of the robot guard. Now that you have your own time card, it's time to clock in for work. The clock shows the time you'll be starting work at the factory, so press on the flashing button to stamp that time on your time card. Here's your time card. We'll use it to keep track of how long you're here and everything you do. So, let's go down to the factory floor. This is where Mr. Monday thinks up all his ideas for crayons by matching colors to real life things. Can you do that too? Well then, let's get started. Can you make orchid purple? Wow, that's a great color, and it matches the object. Let's match another object. Can you make carrot orange? Matching colors. Mr. Monday gets his ideas for colors by matching them to real-life things. A frog, a flower, a cup of juice. But how does one color match another? Well, each color is made up of pigments from the three basic or primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. An orange crayon is made up of red and yellow pigment added together. But the more red you add, the redder the orange becomes. And you can change any color by adding black to darken or white to lighten. Sometimes two colors combine to make a color, and sometimes three or more. 
matching colors means figuring out which of the three primary colors are parts of that color. So have fun making colors that match real life things, just like Mr. Monday does. This is where Mr. Monday thinks up all his ideas. Can you make cheddar cheese orange? Go ahead, press. Good work. You have a great eye. Let's try another object. Can you make rhinoceros gray? Great job! You matched the color perfectly. Here's another object to try and match. Can you make dark yellow to match this chrysanthemum? Excellent match! And here's another object to try and match. Can you make froggy green? Boy, are you sharp. That's a perfect match. Let's try another one. Can you make pansy purple? Oh, dear. The gears that run the conveyor belt are broken. You've got to attach them to the motor so we can get the crayons moving again. Repairing gears. Machines have many different parts that need to move and turn. A gear is a special type of wheel that connects these parts to the machine's motor. But gears can't turn at all unless they mesh, which means they fit together just right. Well, all this turning sometimes makes our machines break down. And that's when you get to fix them by figuring out which size gears to put back in so they'll mesh and turn just right. Oh, dear. All right, you did it. Good job. All right, you did it. Good job. All right, you did it. Good job. Welcome to manufacturing. Over here, you can make your own crayons every step of the way or get your friends in the factory to help. And as you finish making each crayon, we'll put it in your crayon box so you can use it later. Making crayons. At the crayon factory, you can make any color crayon you want. After Mr. Tuesday has poured the colored pigments, he mixes in the wax. The colored wax is then poured onto a round turntable, which molds, shapes the crayons. When they harden, the crayons are popped up out of the table and sorted so that each collection of crayons has only one of each color. When the right crayons are all together, they're wrapped and boxed and loaded into trucks for shipment to children everywhere. Welcome to manufacturing. Over here, you...
All right, let's go to the mixing vat where you can stir in your color pigments with the crayon wax. Just press on the lever with the red knob. Here you are at the molding drum. Press on the control station next to the drum and watch the colored wax pour into crayon molds. Now it's time to pop your crayons out of the molds and send them on the conveyor belt to the labeling area. So press on the green plunger to start things off. This is the labeling station where you can name your crayon color anything you want. Just type the name of the color on your keyboard or spell it out by clicking on the letters on the screen. To type a name on the crayon label using the letters on your screen, just click on the first letter of the name, then click on the next letter. When you finish typing or selecting letters from the screen, press Return on your keyboard or click on the blue stamp button on the screen to stamp the name on the crayon label. And if you make a mistake, that's okay. Just press delete on your keyboard or click on the yellow erase button on the screen. Crayons look great! And now you're ready for the final step. Press on the lever with the red knob to box them up and ship them out. Ready to make more crayons? Go ahead. You can make as many as you want. All right. Let's go to the mixing vat where you can stir in your color pigments with the crayon wax. Here you are at the molding drum. Now it's time to pop your crayons out. This is the labeling station where you can name your crayon color anything you want. Just type the name of the color on your keyboard. Hey, your crayons look great! And now you're ready for the final step. Press on the lever with the red knob. Ready to make more crayons? Oh no! 
the pipes that carry the wax are leaking. You've got to fix them, and fast. Just use your wrench to replace the broken parts, and hurry. Fixing pipes. The pipes in the crayon factory carry hot wax from one part of the factory to another. Now any liquid like wax flows through the pipes because of special pumps that push the liquid forward. But sometimes all this pushing causes the pipes to break and leak. And that's when you get to fix them by replacing the broken pipe parts with the new ones that fit. Hey, great job! You fixed all the pipes, and as good as new. the crayon sorter, where one crayon of each color is loaded into every box. But sometimes colors show up in the wrong section, so act quickly and remove any color that's not where it should be. To get things started, click anywhere on the sorter. Sorting crayons. Once upon a time, people who worked in factories did everything by hand, but now machines help with the work. At the crayon factory, one of the most important machines is the one that fills the crayon boxes with just the right number and colors of crayons. It's fast, but sometimes it makes mistakes. Here, we try to take away the crayons that don't belong in the columns before they get into the boxes. So give it a try. You're at the crayon sorter, where one crayon of each color is loaded into every box. But sometimes colors show up in the wrong section, so act quickly and remove any color that's not where it should be. To get things... number of crayons you found in the wrong section of the sorter. Thanks for helping us stay on top of things. Now it's your turn to take a shift at our quality control station. We're checking a new order of crayons before we ship it to Newtown. If you're going to help us, you need to make sure that all the crayons in the boxes on the conveyor belt are correct. 
So click anywhere on the screen to start. Quality control. When kids who use crayons depend on you to do a good job, you don't want to disappoint them. That's what Mr. Friday always says, and that means checking your work to make sure everything is just the way it should be. Every factory has someone who does this, and some factories have more than one. At our factory, this job is called quality control. Quality control happens every step of the way, but it has to happen at the very last step to make sure that each box of crayons has come out just right. So be sure to check each box carefully. Now it's your... Let's see how you did. Not bad. You got almost all of the mixed up boxes. Come back again and see if you can do it even better. At most factories, machines make the noises, but here at the Crayon Factory, you get to pick the noises you want to hear. So have fun with our secret noise machine.
Station. This is where you can use the crayons we've made or the crayons you've made to color our story and watch it animate. You can also print out pictures from the story and color them on paper. Select play to see the story or click on the crayon box to get all of the coloring pages and do your coloring right on the screen. If you've colored the story before and you want to erase everything you've done, use the Erase icon. And to color the pages on paper, press the Print button so you can select the pages you want to print.
The Crayon Factory was always the happiest place in the world. That is, until Mr. Penn arrived. Why the company that owned the factory sent him to take over, I do not know. He didn't seem to like the place, let alone want to work here. For one thing, Mr. Penn didn't think we needed more colors. He said, we already have too many colors, and they're too bright. And Mr. Penn thought the mixing department was too loud. And he thought the molds made the crayons too big. He said if the crayons were smaller, he'd make a lot more money. And Mr. Penn didn't think we should have to wrap the crayons. He said... Red is red, and blue is blue. That's all these kids have to know. And Mr. Penn didn't see any reason to check the boxes. He said... Kids won't notice if they have two yellow crayons and no red. Take a note. Mr. Friday is too rusty. I only want shiny robots in my factory. Rusty? Me, Rusty? Why, I'm perfectly fine. Then... One sad day, Mr. Penn had a meeting of all the robots. He said the crayon factory had to cut down on the number of colors it made. We were shocked. Mr. Monday said, You'll ruin the factory. Children need all the crayons for coloring. But Mr. Penn wouldn't listen and said, That was that and never the twain shall meet and so forth and so on. Mr. Monday said he and the other robots would not give up, no matter what Mr. Penn said. But later that day, Mr. Friday was replaced by a new robot. In all my memory, and being a robot, I have quite a lot of it. Never had the Crayon Factory been such a sad place. The very next morning, one of the robots from the accounts office showed Mr. Monday an order we had received. It said, send us new crayons, red, blue, and brown, 500 cases for the kids of Newtown. The robot told Mr. Monday that Mr. Penn was sending the order back because we couldn't possibly produce so many cases in time. But the children in Newtown will be so disappointed. I was so worried, but Mr. Monday just said, that's not why he's sending the order back. He just wants to ruin us. That evening, as I was wandering around the factory, I overheard Mr. Penn say that they were going to work all night on a report. We'll show the company how many problems we have. There'll be cutbacks. Mark my words. But neither Mr. Penn nor I had any idea as to what Mr. Monday himself was planning. Mr. Monday was determined that we'd make all those crayons for Newtown and prove how good our crayon factory was. So we worked harder and longer than ever before. We even brought Mr. Friday back to help. We worked all night. The next day was Saturday, the day named for me. The factory was supposed to be closed, but instead, we robots were loading up the trucks. Pretty soon, 500 cases of crayons were on their way to Newtown, and Mr. Monday took me along for the ride. 
newtown looked like a great place but i wouldn't exactly say it was colorful mr mary the toy shop owner was sure happy to see us and he was even happier when he opened his first box mr monday had outdone himself with all these beautiful colors the children could paint the town there were hues and tones of all kinds. The children had every color they could want. And if some didn't use every color, everyone used some. Before long, Newtown was the most colorful town I'd ever seen. The very next week, the head of the company arrived at the crayon factory. Hello. She called a meeting of the entire factory. Everyone was concerned. Mr. Penn began a big presentation and told Miss Pandora that, in his opinion, the crayon factory made too many colors and too many crayons. He said, I recommend that the crayon factory be shut down. We were astonished. For once, none of us moved. Finally, Miss Pandora said, you know, I came today to congratulate you on all of those cases of crayons sold in Newtown. Mr. Penn was shocked. Newtown! He exclaimed. He had no idea that we delivered that order. His recommendation to shut down the very successful crayon factory seemed positively foolish. And so Ms. Pandora finished by saying, we pens may know a lot about business, but apparently we know nothing about crayons. You're fired. And she told us, Mr. Penn is not running the factory anymore. All of you are. We could hardly believe what she said. Yippee! Hooray. Imagine putting the robots who made the crayons in charge of the factory. What an unusual idea. Once we robots were in charge, we made more crayons more colorfully than ever before. And as always, we worked Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Oh, and yes, I, Saturday, got my own job, crayon checker. Poor me. I get to color all week long. <laughs> What a busy, happy place the Crayon Factory is, once again. Leaving the factory floor? Well, you'd better clock out. Just press the flashing button to stamp the time on your time card. That way you'll know how long you worked. Thanks for visiting the factory floor, but next time, why not stay a little longer? If you'd like to print out a paper copy of your time card, click on the word yes at the bottom of the screen. If you don't want a copy, click on the word no. Thanks for helping us out. And remember, next time you want to help, just stop by and visit at the Crayon Factory.